The Pythagorean theorem has existed for many, many years. In fact, it even existed beyond the time of Pythagoras. He just kind of made it famous, which is why we call it the Pythagorean theorem. Plus, the Egyptians had it before the Greeks, but, of course, the Egyptians kind of got wiped out after that. So, um, apparently, civilizations that get wiped out, we don't care about, or we ignore. And other people that uh, lived after, we just kind of acknowledge. So... That's why we call this the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem has to do with right triangles specifically, meaning that we'll have an angle that's 90 degrees. And we usually indica indicate a 90 degree angle with a box, which again indicates that it's 90 degrees. So let's look at the parts of a right triangle. We have these two sides of the right triangle, which are called legs. The two legs are the two sides that make up the 90-degree angle. Well, this 90-degree angle is kind of like it's pointing at this other side. It's always the longest side. This side opposite to the 90-degree angle is the longest side, and we have a nice name for that, the hypotenuse. Now, the hypotenuse is, uh, uh, is kind of a weird word, and I'm not really so concerned about the spelling, but uh, Key and Peele did a nice sketch on this one, and, well, it's pretty funny, so you may go watch them, but uh, whatever. In any case, uh, what they found with this stuff is, if we take the two legs, and let's say that we squared these two legs and then added those two squares, they found that it equals the hypotenuse squared as well. Now, you may have heard this more commonly as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, a and b represent the two legs, and the c is the hypotenuse in this thing. So keep that in mind, uh, however you look at it, just as long as you keep the hypotenuse equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs. Which does sound kind of nerdy, but that's pretty much what it is. So let's see this in application. Number one here, this one has a 90 degree angle right there. It's about the only angle I can see that is close to 90 degrees. So it has to be that angle, which means that the two sides that were given make up that 90 degree angle. That means they're legs. So I'm going to take the 8 and the 6. Let's square them and add them, and it should equal the hypotenuse here squared. So evaluating this, we get 64 plus 36 equals c squared. 64 plus 36 is 100, which is c squared, right? So what value multiplied by itself gives us 100? Well, that would have to be 10. So the hypotenuse by itself is 10, specifically in this case, 10 feet. We can't forget to label, uh, label these problems because we should be comparing some kind of measurement. Well, then what do we do on number two? Right here, the angle that I see that is 90 degrees looks like it's that one right there. And then that means they gave us a leg right here and the hypotenuse right here. So to set this up, I've got the 72 squared. And then the A, and what, again, it doesn't matter where you put that. 72 squared plus A squared equals the 78 squared. So let's uh, evaluate the 72 squared and the 78 squared. So I got 5184 and 6084. Now to solve for a squared, I'd have to subtract 5184 from both sides. And that leaves me with a squared equals 900. So what two numbers multiply together to give us 900? So that would be a, and this is kind of like taking the square root of both sides of this thing. So, I mean, if, if it needed, you could put this into a calculator, and you'd find that the square root of 900 is 30. Now, again, this is a word problem, so we should label this in centimeters. So the missing leg would have to be 30 centimeters long for this thing to be a right triangle. So go ahead and take a moment and try three and four. And we'll show you guys the answers to those. If you need more time, just go ahead and pause the video. I'm just going to show the answers. All right, go and try 15, and then we'll do 16 together. So 
Again, if you need more time, just go ahead and pause the video. And there's 15, 10.72 feet, just round it to the nearest hundredth. So number six, we got the right angle, should be about right there, okay? The other two angles look like they would not be near the 90 degrees. So we got a leg, because this side makes up that right angle. And then we got the hypotenuse, the right angle is pointing to it. So, setting this up, we got 30 squared plus B squared equals 39 squared. Now let's just go and evaluate 30 squared and 39 squared. And we get 915, 21 respectively. Now, to solve for b squared, let's subtract 900 from both sides. And then finally, to solve this, we'll just square root both sides, which leaves us with b equals the square root of 621. It looks like we should be able to split this up into uh, 9. Well, actually, let's just make it 81. No, it is 9. I apologize. Break this up into 9 and 69. And the square root of 9 is 3. So that would be 3 times the square root of 69 in centimeters. That would be the exact value. And the estimate to the nearest hundredth should come out to 24.92 centimeters. So these two would be our answers for this problem because it did ask for the exact and the estimate estimated answers.